So let's take a look at that small minority that are of the dark. These, you know, I, I do feel that this energy, this reptilian energy, these, these reptilian humanoids um, do come from the wish to control us. Uh, they want to uh, gain power over us. Um, the reason they want to do this is because, yes, they do feed upon us. It is their nourishment. Now, when I say feed upon us, I know that some channels do pick up um, images of these reptilians eating human flesh. Um, okay, maybe that's their interpretation, and that's absolutely fine. Each person has a job to do. But when I bring forward my energy from, from the source, my source energy, what I am shown is these reptilians feed upon our energy, not upon our human flesh. And I think that's important to stress. Um, that is what I see. I don't see, you know, genuine third dimensional reptilian entities somewhere within this earth eating us. It's not what I see. You know, I, I, maybe my interpretation here isn't correct, but I have to bring you um, forward the uh, pictures that I see and the images I am given and I have to translate them in the best possible way I can in order to be a conduit for the light for you and that is my job. So um, these, these reptilians feed off our energy and the energy that they like to feed off is fear, anxiety, terror, anger, especially anger. They love jealousy, uh, they love anything to do with violence, and anything that promotes that, they will strongly encourage. When they are able to influence our thoughts, uh, they will encourage these negative emotions, um, particularly through violence and alcohol. Um, big crowds of people where there is lots of heightened emotion and alcohol. So, you know, they're there. They're there in their unseen form, feeding off our energy. Energy. And what really scares these reptilian minority few is the ascension of this planet because when we move forward from a third dimensional reality into a uh, fifth dimensional reality, these minority reptilian energies are not able to access that vibration. They don't have the genetic makeup um, in, their, uh, in their being to be able to do this. So uh, this is the whole reason why our guides and the source of light are coming forward in their various forms through various channels, through various mediums, various media. They're coming forward to teach us to awaken to the light and to learn that light, which is knowledge. Uh, because once we can all come together and do this, we are able to take this planet into a higher vibration and all the energies here that have been uh, controlling this planet for so long will not be able to do what we do. They won't be able to follow us. They won't be able to go where we are going. They don't have the ability. So, of course, they're doing everything they can to hold the Earth back. Well, I am told uh, from my source that um, from what they can see from their vibration, vantage point. Uh, the timeline we are nearest to, uh, the timeline that is in front of us and the one we are most likely to move into uh, given the uh, raised consciousness field of the light workers, is one where we do move into that fifth dimensional field and those reptilian energies and any other um, dark energy will not be able to follow us. This doesn't mean there won't be uh, any darkness in this new fifth dimensional reality and that's not the case for there are there is a place for darkness it it works opposite light in its polarity but what will occur in this new reality is a balance there will not be such an extreme of separation uh, between ourselves and between the different energies that we bring forward there will be a unity uh, therefore anything that is of the dark uh, in the new fifth dimension will still be uh, positive. That's where we're going and this is why my guides, my source come forward with such uplifting messages uh, of hope because uh, they can see where we're going and the number one message that they bring to us, that which they stress to us that is so important is to raise the vibration, raise the consciousness to one of love um, hope, upliftment and connectedness because when you are there in that place 
that is when the other dimensions uh, merge around you and come through you. You anchor those dimensions into the planet, as I've said in um, a couple of my other videos. And um, when you stay in that place, you are so guided and protected by the light forces. You, what you actually do when you're in that place, that place of love, that place of connectedness and, um, and confidence and, and joy, when you're there, what you actually do is create a certain consciousness field around you. And the consciousness field you create um, manifests within the uh, ast astral, etheric realms as a geometric shape. Um, and each geometric shape has different meaning. There are an infinite number of, of, of geometric shapes uh, moving fluidly in such vast ways it's impossible to um, speak about them in human form. But what you do when you stay in this wonderful place of, of bliss charged love is, is what uh, my, my source likes to call it, bliss charged love. Um, you create this certain geometric shape and once that shape is uh, solidified within the etheric it then forms in matter and when you are in a state of bliss charged love, a state of joy, a state of upliftment and most importantly a state of absolute knowing then that geometric shape is uh, one of very high light, high vibration and when it manifests in reality it brings with it the abundance the universe has to offer you. That abundance comes in many forms, but the abundance comes in the form of protection, synchronicity, understanding, knowledge, and your material needs in order to function in the third dimensional world. So we're looking at, um, you know, food and a place to live and somewhere to be comfortable and all those things. So that's why it's so important to stay within that vibration. And the more people that are in that vibration, the higher the light will be, the more knowledge will be accessible to us because um, it will be there in the superconscious field for us to attain uh, in, in a much more formulated way. Uh, the more that something is on our minds, the more other people can access it. And what we want on our minds right now is high vibrational love light energy so the last thing we need to uh, tap into and I know that all you light workers have heard this again and again and my source reiterates it is the last thing we need is, is fear so yes go ahead and research the reptilians it's an important um, you know part of, of, of knowledge that you will want to know about as uh, this reptilian energy does concern our species and our history but once you've learnt about this knowledge, once you've taken this knowledge on board, um, to hold on to anger, to hold on to um, a hatred of this reptilian race is not the advised way for us. My source is saying this is not the advised way. The advised way is to let go of uh, any negative feeling and raise yourself to the higher vibration because once you do as I've said, you manifest the abundance of the universe and the abundance of the universe is there for us, knowledge, light, and it is what will take us forward to the ascension. So go ahead and do your research into reptilians, but it's not anything you need to focus on unless you feel that you are going to be somebody who is going to be spreading information about this particular issue. And if you are, make sure you do this in a way that does not cause a fear reaction in others. So I suppose the ultimate message of this uh, of this uh, little speech here is um, don't worry about the reptilians. Once you are in a place of love, light, joy, upliftment, confidence and connectedness, they can't touch you. They simply cannot touch you because there are just too many of us now and they know that so you know visualize that energy that reptilian energy leaving this planet because that's exactly what's going to happen and in many people's realities it's happened already and that's the way to go anyway thank you for listening I just thought I would get this information out as soon as possible as I've had so many people ask this question about reptilians so um, thanks very much